welcome back to my channel um, and if you are new welcome i am holly and i do two videos a week on all things planner related um, and today it's just a really quick video which is a lot shorter than my normal ones and that is all about these daily task cards that i um have made today please excuse my squeaky chair um so these are the sort of finished article and i do need some opinions on these um, in a second from you guys so i'd love to hear it in the comments but essentially um these test cards i made on canva it's free i haven't got any of the paid like memberships or anything and um i just wanted something that every day i could look at and sit down and end the day by going okay what is tomorrow what do i need to prepare for etc etc and just have a really nice way of reflecting um, and using my planner every single evening and i think what i'm going to do is go live every evening as of tomorrow which will be wednesday the 14th um i'm going to post this video um in fact it's today for you so if you watch it today this evening is going to be my first live um where i'm going to sit every night look at what i have to do the day after and hopefully invite other people to have 15 20 minutes every day to join me to go through their planner to just focus on them themselves the planner the planner community etc etc so i'll talk you through how i made them and what i put on them and how i plan to use them and then i have put here version one because i imagine this will evolve and change as i do and as the process does but this was version one so first thing i did was go on canva and what i'm going to try and do is side by side this with um a little screen recording of how i did one of these and just talk you through it but basically um, there was already a template that was similar to this, but it was for like a fashion show or something. I'll see if I can find what it's called. Um, and I just changed it. So at the top here, and it isn't the clearest, so I need to play with my printer settings. But at the top here, it just says at Plan With Me HB, which is my handle on Instagram and also um, here on YouTube. And then it just says daily task card. I'll bring it up. Let me bring it higher up. So will it focus? Yeah, it's really hard to see. And I also highlighted it, which didn't actually help. Plan With Me HB. And then it says Daily Task Card version 1. And then on Monday, I edited this to say it's the start of the week. Keep positive. Second bullet point, I put motivation because it's my motivation Monday. Um, clean the house, but no set rules or expectations. Just do what you can. So Because I have three kids just. Um, and I'm just trying to get back in like touch with everything and keep on top of everything. But also keep the pressure low <laughs> um small daily tasks so kitchen living room bathroom and bedrooms um so things like change toilet roll um you know add put soap in the dispensers wipe down the kitchen load and unload the dishwasher things that need doing every day that if you don't do the house feels like it's falling apart but actually it takes two minutes um get outside now that might seem really obvious and actually it's something that's almost near impossible not to do when you have three boys but just some days there will be days that pass when i haven't been outside and um so i just want to remind myself to just go outside and i recently watched um a dragon's den thing where deborah meaden says one of the dragons on there said that every day she she stands outside with her bare feet and touches the earth and i thought it was really cute so this is my sort of because she wants to feel connected to the ground, to the earth and stuff. And I just think getting outside, getting fresh air is, you know, gonna, it's not going to do anyone any harm. So that's on there. And that's on every day apart from weekends because we always do go out on weekends. Um, tomorrow box. Tomorrow box is something that I've made up today, which is basically to try and run life with three kids more smoothly. I'm going to have like a plastic box or any kind of decorative box. I'm not sure, a basket or whatever. And the night before, I'm going to go through this and go, right, okay, so today, let's say it's today. Today's Tuesday, so this would be face up already. And then each evening, I'm going to go to the next day, see what I need to do, and put clothes for all three boys in a box for the next day. Um, if we've got things to take for school, so like library books or homework or anything like that, in that box for the next day. So in the morning, I'm not running around like a headless chicken, getting stressed, stressing at the kids, stressing at my husband stressing in general because it's all there in a box so the tomorrow box um is is that that's what i called it um and then that's on every single day so we'll see how long that lasts that might not last to version two but i'm gonna try and then daily reflection and plan for tomorrow try to go live on instagram so 
that's what I'm going to try to do every day. It'll be between 7 and 8 o'clock. I'll try and get a little bit more um, pinpointed with that as time goes on. But definitely, definitely love the way that these look. I then printed it on, on a 120 GSM paper, and um, which I'll link down below. It's the navigation paper. And then I also laminated it. I'm not happy with the lamination. It's not, it's too flimsy. I want it thicker. So I'm, I need some advice. If anyone knows what like thickness, like with paper, it's GSM, I think. Uh, I need to know like what I need to order to get a really nice thick laminate, uh, laminate cover. So that's what I want to do. And then what I did was I rounded the edges with this corner um, rounder because I just like the way a rounded card looks like that. Um, I normally like rounded everything, but because of these being fold outs, it doesn't work as well. Um, although I might try that next month. Um, but I did that and then I laminated it, put it through twice, corner rounded the lamination and then left. Um, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? <laughs> anyway, I left like a sort of nearly an inch on the left side so that I could punch it. And then where's my hole punch? I'll show you which one I use. Um, so I use this and it hole punches like six at a time for an A5 or any other size because you can um, adjust it along the bottom. So I hole punched it and then I just snip the sides so that you can pop it in and out as and when you want it. And I'm yet to decide whether I, because this is my functional planner, this is all of this week. So I don't know whether each week I move them all over. And then when Monday's through, I put Monday to the back and then I have Tuesday. And then at the end of the week, I literally, all I have to do then is move that page to here and then it's they're already on the next page. Or whether I keep them somewhere else. So for example, what I could do is, you know, pop them in the back here. So I could always have them you know, in here, and then just take one day. Oh, my camera stopped recording. I don't know. One day at a time out um, to put in here when, as and when I need it. So I don't know um, how that will work. I'm not sure. But what I do know for now is I like the way that this is for now. Now, I don't think this will be my end product at all, hence why it was called version one. Um, oops. I think that this is going to be something that evolves and changes. And um, obviously this is something that's personal to everybody. But what um, I will say is to have a go on Canva because I was really inspired by Eve. Um, and I will link her YouTube channel below as well. She did some great, great beautiful dashboards and things on Canva. And I'm sure everybody's doing them at the moment. But she just did such a good job and it made me want to go and try. So... I love the way this looks and I think it will be sort of something that I do more regularly and I'm going to try and use for other things and I might do a tomorrow box checklist as well so like clothes for all three boys and um, check for activities check for calls appointments and things like that so that I know what's going in there and I can put that into the box perhaps I don't know it doesn't even have to live in my planner but I don't know and then the last thing hang on let me just check this is recording It is. It's just that it said low battery, which confused me because that's all I could see was a blurry screen. Right, I'm going to zoom us in here now, um, which is, that's fine. So the only other thing that um, I was thinking was, okay, it has these lovely tick boxes, but I, it's laminated and obviously I want it to last and last and last. So how am I going to do it? So I've decided to use these sort of transparent sticky dots. And what I'm going to go ahead and do actually is, I think, um, cut this, get rid of that straggly part, although it will not be neat for long, so I don't know why I'm bothering. Get this, and actually that's probably a bit too big, so I think I will cut it down to about that size. I don't think I'm going to colour code it yet, but who knows. And then what I think I'm going to do is get a piece of washi tape, and any is absolutely fine. Um, 
and then I think what I'll probably do, and I might load these all up, is let's get this washi, rip it, and then I think I'm just going to stick this on the back of each of these, one of those on the back of each of these. And then, so for example, today, let's go. Grayson's book's back to school now. Today's actually an Easter holiday, so we kind of cheated there. Didn't need to do that. Connect, time to connect, respond to all texts, calls, and reach out to family. So I'm going to keep this neat, and let's just say, yes, I did do that. So I'm going to stick, and this is where I probably should get my tweezers out, that on there. That's done. Small daily tasks, those are done. Yeah. See, I definitely need my tweezers. <laughs> Such cluts. That's done. Recycling and um, bins, thank goodness that is done. Oh my gosh, we had so much recycling this week. We've just got build up in the kitchen, so it's probably going to be almost full again. Need to go to the tip. Um, tomorrow box, I haven't done. Um, and then this, of course, is my daily reflection and plan for the week. Tried to go live on Instagram. Instead of Instagram today, I did the video. Um, and I don't know if I mind that it's different colours. I don't think I care. Um, <laughs> so we'll see how I get on. But I think if I load those up, um, and I might just do the bottom as well, just to keep it secure. Um, there's four hearts up there, isn't it? So four hearts down there too. Um, if I do that, then I have those on the back for when I want to use them and then load that up. And then obviously when the day is done, which it now is, all I need to do is take those off and it's ready for next week. So I actually really like the way that that worked. Um, so yeah, that is my daily task cards. Um, system for now version one <laughs> if you have any suggestions or any questions or anything at all please let me know in the comments below what do you think where do you think i should keep these what do you think they could do with having added to them let me know about the gsm for lavin um laminating paper um and the only other thing i need to do is um when i print them i need to put a box around the edge because they're all different sizes because they were just there was no edge so i didn't do a very good job at keeping them all the same size but next time i will when it's version two time and i'm definitely going to go downstairs now and put these on the back of each one of these because i am extra so yeah thank you so much for watching do talk to me in the comments subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more things like this and um yeah thank you so much i hope you're all having a good week Please go ahead and have a happy and healthy week going forward and I will see you in the next video. Bye.